back. Uh, you might have noticed a little bit of a wacky setup on that last video. Uh, and maybe I put a title in there to explain it, but basically, yeah. Shit happens. Things crash. I don't. I don't know how to. I don't know how to get over it. You know, um, the problem with that particular one is that the crash happened after an auto save, but before a previous save, and so I actually couldn't just load back up to where I was. It, it wouldn't make any sense in the context of the game. So I just pieced two bits together as best I could, and hopefully you all understood what the fuck was going on there. So. But, uh, let's see, so we have to convince Henry Jameson to sell, uh, which is great. We also need to convince Cassidy to sell, and we've already hauled ass through Raul's stuff, which is great. Um, he's cool, I guess, but his fucking Vaquero shit is ridiculous looking. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't look like fucking anything a cowboy would wear. It looks like the Three Amigos, maybe. But... Uh, I don't need you to tell me about any of that shit. I need you to go home. It's probably better for him anyways. His knees are fucked up. Maybe we'll hit up a... Uh, traveling merchant here and see if he's got anything worth a damn. Uh, and I can also offload some of the stuff that I've got that is not worth a damn. Um, you know what's funny? Well, I guess you just kind of notice it as you go, but it is always kind of a bummer to me when I'm trying to find all of the mods for something like the Chainsaw or the Ripper and I can never find them. But then when I'm, you know, not trying to, I come across them all the time. I guess that's just, you know, uh, in, like incomplete data or whatever. Blue car syndrome, red light syndrome, whatever you want to call it. But I don't need any of this shit. Let's just offload our stuff. Um, so... Yeah, Raul was not too happy with any of the guns that I tried to give him. I did take back all this stuff, which is great, because I'm going to just turn around and try to give it to Cassidy. So, I don't know if she prefers... Well, I guess I got rid of the other stuff. So let's just hurry up and quit dicking around here. Uh, that's useless, as it turns out. Um... Don't need any of this. What they at? I'm still packing tons of stim packs. Don't need any of this. No, I want to keep that. It's all about. So these two things, I'm I'm never gonna run out of trying to make satchel charges with them, and they were from like 20 20 gauge rounds that I dis you know. I disassembled in the very beginning of the game, in the utter precipice of this build series. Okay, well, I was able to offload all my shit. Uh, I don't have any weird currency. It, it has always bugged me that the currency doesn't show up where it should, you know, in like miscellaneous or whatever, like pre-war money does. But NCR dollars and... Um, Legion Denariuses, they don't show up in, in anything except for your items menu. So if you go through category by category and sell all the shit that you would like to get rid of, then it doesn't make any, it doesn't, you're still not going to clear it all out. Cass. Oh, I'll just clear out all of her other stuff. She's wacky. Her perk is maybe the worst perk, honestly. Um, what her perk is, is it, if I remember right, it, um, it allows you to, to drink whiskey and not get, like, the intelligence loss or something. 
Yeah, I'm not exactly sure. Alright. You... Can come with me. Yeah, Whiskey Rose. That's pretty dumb. But let's see just how she... First of all, give me all your money. I don't give a fuck who you are. Uh, secondly, you want to wear that thing? You want an assault carbine? I mean, I guess I could repair it all the way. No, still nothing. She prefers... Oh, I mean, that is a hunting shotgun. That's no fucking joke. Maybe if that assault carbine was fully fucking modded out, or like fixed up, or whatever. Because I think you can get mods for the assault carbine. I can't really remember. But now that I got that hose bag rolling with me, we can do this other stuff here. Uh, and I'm just gonna do the thing with the evidence if I can. Uh, you know, this this is easy enough to to break into, but um, the the Silver Rush dudes with their evidence, it's not very easy. I'll just pop a stealth away, probably. So, yeah. I don't have any of the actual free side. I guess I have the East Gate opened up. And I think I'll probably skip the Gunrunner stuff, because I'm not all that interested in, you know, the Crimson Caravan quest line. I don't even know what optional shit you get if you get extra experience. Or what you get for that. For breaking into the gun runners and stealing their their uh, specifications or whatever. It would seem to me that there's no difference at all, but I'm sure that I'm wrong. And maybe somebody will uh, ever so nicely volunteer that information to me without being a dick about it, but I doubt it. So, okay, so I've got Mission Mojave. I've probably told you that ten times, but here's the thing that it does. The old Mormon Fort, yeah, it's a location on my map. I can now fast travel to the inside of old Mormon Fort, which saves a lot of time when you're trying to do something like, you know, cure the addicts or whatever, and you're just bouncing back and forth off the walls trying to find all this shit. So there's at least the one guy that's in... Um, the Atomic Wrangler that I that I need also to talk out of his shit, and then McLafferty has a few other things that she needs me to do. Dude, you got to be fucking kidding me! This happens far too often, but I happen to know that I'm still recording until I hit this cancel button. So I'm gonna try to edit this together. We'll see what goes on.